I come to you guys today with a, with a question. I, I'm conflicted, guys. I'm so conflicted. And I, I was just thinking about it. I was like, it's a beach episode. So we're now we know the girls' personalities. Now we're going to know what they look like, right? All right? And, and you know, the pervert I am. I was like, so who is best girl? You have Yoshino. And sadly, we did not get to see her in, in the swimsuit. Sadly. I mean, sadly. But, um... She is stacked, let's just be honest, like Jesus Christ, I mean, we did get to see her in a low cut shirt, so that was nice, that was nice, you know, high five to that, but Fuji, oh my god, um, 12 out of 10, that pink swimsuit was doing it for her, and Jesus Christ, I didn't know she was that stacked, now we also have Aki, I, Aki's cute and all, but she's lacking, let's be honest, she's lacking some things, now, we also got Class Rep. And she was not wearing that that sports bra kind of top. I would have been I would have been a happy man. And you know what? I was happy anyways. Don't get me wrong, but that was bullshit. That ter ter terrible terrible character design. Ter terrible. But no, you know what? Then we had a new candidate. Which this candidate's probably done for the rest of the series. I I mean, it's kind of weird how she's actually like in all serious, seriousness impactful towards the end with her and Maccabi. Exchanged some well, good dialogue, important dialogue, because it really shed some light on Maccabi that Maccabi truly is a good person. He just doesn't like Aki. I mean, it's, not, it's that simple. He truly is a good person. He just does not like Aki. And even Yubisaki saw, you know, saw that. She's like, whoa, she, he's really a true you know, a truly good person, because she actually was like, she's someone that she envied, um, Aki, because she's like, I love how she can hate these men, because men never treated her right either, even though she's still invested into guys and is interested in them, she hates them at the same time, it's like a love-hate relationship for her, because they always dump her, which it was the joke of, hey, this girl is, is beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, cute, whatever, pretty, she's literally a goddess, her, she has the body of a goddess, literally, like, from fa from head to toe, she is a goddess. Like that was the, that's the joke. But yet she still can't keep you know keep a guy. I mean that's a joke. It's kind of like in cheating craft. The teacher absolutely gorgeous. Jesus Christ, twelve out of ten. How does she? How is she not married? How does she not have a guy? How do you guys dump her? How are guys not interested in her? Kind of joke. And it's kind of like, can I just live in an anime? I I would I would have married the woman. I mean Jesus Christ. I mean Jesus Christ. Like I mean, did you see that? I mean. When it comes to figure, I think Fuji is a goddess, which I I wanted to see. I, I wanted to see Yoshino. I wanted to. I really did, guys. I we got to see a little bit, but I it would be a contest. You know, it'd be a contest between Fuji, Yokino, or Yoshino, um, Yubisaki would. I mean, Yubisaki I think would take the cake. Let's just be honest. But um. F you know, Fuji. F I think Fuji can compete. I think Yoshino could compete in class rep. Is uh, who is best girl? If you guys have made this fun of video, I'm gonna ask you one more time: Who is best girl? D d just tell me. And uh, one thing I actually thought was, uh, you know, all seriousness now. Let's let, let's get off that track because we spent the first fucking three minutes on it. But if you made it this far, you are the real MVP. Now, one, and I'll give you a giveaway if you made it this far. Actually, I will give you a Crunchyroll giveaway and down in the comments below. Let me know if you made it this far, and I have uh, some free trials. But other than that, guys, in all seriousness, um, I thought the chainsaw thing at the. Uh, <laughs> The, like horror house is actually hilarious. He had Yoshino's came out of nowhere with a chainsaw. I was like, what the hell? And the joke with Fuji again with the blood, you know, supposedly running down her lip is that freaking grape jelly or whatever, strawberry jam, whatever the hell it was again. I was kind of like, oh, Jesus Christ, here we go again. And I actually thought the beginning was funny too, how Aki was like, hey, sure, sure, you want to come to my uh, vacation house, my, you know, on an island with me? And he's just kind of like, I don't go without him. Like that, you know, that's my bud. I, I can't do nothing without this man. And it's kind of like, oh god. And I, just, I I'm just wondering, man, is this guy a girl or guy? Like, I don't even care if someone spoils me. Is this a guy or girl? I mean, I'm so conflicted. There was one thing. There was one one show. I think it's like Infinite Stress where um, Charlotte. That was her name. It was a guy the whole time that ended up being a girl. I was kind of like, I'm I'm conflicted. Why has God forsaken me? As he said, Hiyoto would say, I quote. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you are most definitely going to get that that, that trial. Because I have like two or three of them. I don't, I don't know. I'll get you know, I'll give them out randomly. Whoever said they made this far in the video. Once again, but this is a real serious question. This is a very serious question. I'm having a good day. This got me off to a good day. Optic Gaming won. So I'm going to give you guys a little giveaway. So now this is a question I have for you guys. Now. Was Aki playing along, or was she actually somewhat invested in 
the whole I'm dating you, you're my boyfriend, I'm your girlfriend thing. Do you think she's actually like, playing along with it? Or do you think she's somewhat invested in in that? I'm not really sure. I think at times, yes. I think the whole Fuji thing, she kind of got a little jealous. Because one thing that's actually really good about this writing is it made Aki definitely start going for Maccabi. Then things kind of got a little shaky. Her pride, you know. And it makes sense. Her pride got back in the way a little bit. Now she's kind of just a bitch, to be quite honest. You know, she's not even a sundry. She's just mean for the sake of being mean. So I'm asking you guys, do you guys think she's she played along a little bit? Or do you think she's a little bit jealous? Maybe, maybe it's a little bit of... Hey, I'm a little bit jealous. I'm also just playing along with this just to go along with this with the whole Fuji scene. Or do you think it's like, you think it's a mix of that and then at the same time she's actually trying to take advantage of the situation also. But I mean, she, she didn't seem like she was, especially how she's just being a dick to Maccabi once again. I mean, Aki's just a terrible person. And I don't want to see them get, to, if they get together, I want to see see her ease into it. I don't want to, want to be, hey, something crazy has happened. Now I like you, you like me. And she just does 180 with a personality. A personality is something you have to fix slowly but surely, right? And I, I mean, I guess this whole process is kind of that. But I just, I don't want it to be so, I want it to be subtle. You know what I mean? And it's being subtle so far, I think. But I want to see it actually not just, because cause it could, I mean, it's being, like I said, I want to explain it like this. It's being subtle. But all of a sudden, the next episode, it's just like, bam. No, this is something that needs to happen like episode 10, episode 11. But as always, guys, you've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter, X25. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.